Hi, this is Mia, and I'm angry. And I got hardly any sleep last night, and I couldn't sleep then after 6:30 when it got um, light out. Um, the TV was on, and I woke up to check uh, my phone because I went to the bathroom and just play around with it. It's got the blue light, and my partner was turned the TV. So I looked at me and like turns the TV up, and I was like, "Can you turn it down a little bit?" And he turns it all the way, and then it's on all night, maybe three, four, I don't even know. So I had to listen to um, a couple videos. I can't remember what I listened to. I listened to that. I ain't get no sleep because y'all, like, they had a different version of it, which is kind of silly. Um, I was like, oh, I was going to play that this weekend. And I was like, oh, I was mad at my neighbors in the old neighborhood for not having been able to get sleep. And now I'm mad at the person I live with, like, I don't know, I felt, I have really bad stomach cramps. I don't know if it's from the detox tea from the other day. This doesn't even look like, I'm not even going to drink that. Um, detox, I've been drinking off, trying to get all the honey out of the cracks for like three days now. And I'm like not going to touch it despite fermenting. Um, it's been in the fridge, so. I just don't feel well. I had to deal with my son's birthday and being apart from him where I was supposed to be in Oregon this week um I'm it's the first time in his entire life and I had my partner being distant and cold and if the TV is on and I can't I lost my freaking eye mask it's my fault I could put the pillow over my head I get sweaty everything I put on my head I get so sweaty um so I have a blanket I'm making right here so I have earplugs and I have earbuds for my I can listen to stuff so the sound if it's not that loud it's whatever you know if it's the light flashing all the time then it's bothering me it's a big screen TV right at the end of the bed so and we're in a less than the size of a studio apartment so there's no area for the TV there's no couch if someone could put a couch and put the TV in front of that and put a curtain in front of the like, there's got to be a solution. I hate it so much that I won't watch TV when he's sleeping. And he doesn't even wait. I watched it two or three times it's in, in the past six months. And uh, he is not. He woke up the first time I did it. A long time ago. I said two, three times. So it's like, I, I'm like doing on to others. But those people don't do back. They don't do on telling me I'm lying that I, that I woke up on my own and that I woke up because my light gets left on. He went off for a week about this light being left on one night when I felt really sick and I wanted to read. You ever get like sick? I get sick all the time. My stomach aches and you ever get sick where you're just like you want to like rock yourself to sleep and you're just like tired but you're like you can't ignore like your stomach ache or your headache. You just want to look at something else. A book listen to something if you if you were like me when I was single you got to put in an old movie in the VCR or something you already seen just to take your mind off and laugh you know and I miss I miss those days and those days like saw my house in West Virginia those days are long gone and they're never to return you know and every time in my life I felt like something in my past was better than it is now but during the time you're living it, it's hell on earth. So what what would I do if I still had a house in West Virginia? I probably would have gone there already. If it was torn down, halfway down, and it would end up throwing a yurt up on there or something, or rebuilding it, or just, just a frame, you know? <laughs> Remodeling it, rebuilding, like, you know, those rules. Or you could just do your land and say, okay, what needs to be done, I'm gonna do it. But you have to get permits and stuff. And my kids got their package. Um, I got funding for one of my businesses for from SBA. There's an ant on my leg from SBA, and I applied it. So it went to my business account. That's the one that I always use for transactions, um, for in taking money and paying my rent, and that went into my account. It's going to be taken by my for two months rent that I have to pay myself 
payroll because it's probably going to be a grant. So let's look up. So we're going to get busy. I'm kind of happy that I'm inside the house by myself. Let's put in here SBA um, pay check. No, let's forget about SBA check. Okay, let's do payroll software free. Okay, so I have, okay, let's just write it down. I love writing. When I went to say it, did you hear me hesitate? I love, uh, 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 uh. This is, what's the word I'm looking for here? Um, I don't know if this is, if the payroll has to be like, you have to be able to verify that the money was here and this company moved it to here because I'm not about to give them my social security numbers and stuff. Um, so there's one called Gusto. I hesitated because it feels socially unacceptable to be wanting to write and have notebooks all over the place. So this is 30 day trial. So it's greater than or equal to $25 per month. So let's put that as one. These are all ads. Paycom to paycom.com. Three months free payroll. ADP. Three months free. That's a good. That's a good rhyme. So QuickBooks entry level price two ninety nine. Have all employees complete a W-4. So how to process yourself. So one W-4, okay. Let's say yourself, because I'll get confused. W-4, two, E-I-N, I already have that. Three, choose schedule. Four, calculate and withhold taxes. Five, pay taxes. And then six. So the EIN, I had an EIN, and I also had uh, another one in Oregon. I need to read, I think it was a BIN. I'm gonna put a question mark here, BIN from Oregon. Also rhymes. File tax forms. And employee W2, so that would be a tax year. Um, this is from square dot, square up dot com. I wonder what happened to my square card reader. Let's order one. Okay. I ordered a chip reader one like two years ago. I, don't, I have no idea what happened to it. I have no idea. I might have my other regular square. Um... They might not even be free anymore. Let's see if I have an account already. I feel like they probably charged me too. Let's see if I have one with my regular. <clears throat> I am not a robot keeps on jiggling like we're not gonna let you in I need my passwords um, let's just say forgot pass I don't want to say forgot password if I don't if I already have one um what did I do with my iPad oh my gosh it fell on the ground because I I had all those books stacked up behind me So I'm exhausted and I'm not getting anything done and I got a bunch of mail or emails last e yesterday evening that were from different or um, financial institutions that were telling me that I needed to submit my driver's license for um, FD or not FDA for funding from the government. I have to do a FCC EHR grant. Um, I don't, it won't accept my FCC registration number. 
I, I don't even remember how to get into it. Um, I potentially failed to do the, let's see if I even have it. Yeah. Um, let's say FCC. I don't have the password here. FCC grant. I'll just say that. Um, I might have it in here though. I'm going to go back to the list of I get that where you want to do everything at once, but you feel like if you go away from free payroll software, you feel like you're going to go back to, um, you're not going to go, be able to find it, which does happen sometimes. Let's see if I have, the mail came about 11, 10 a.m. It's 12, 32. I'm exhausted. Today is like hell. Get clear wait. Oh, there's that password thing again. Um, what is this? FCC. This was a different... Well, oh, that's the same one. I don't know my password in my... So do you see how I'm like... Oh, I gotta do this. Oh, I gotta do this. So I have stuff written down. Like, I had to do this. I have to do this, and I need to do billing. I looked at one. I've sent in what? I think I've sent in like four billing things in the past several weeks. I've got one payment, and I saw. I looked it up, and I said, "Oh, I got paid for this one." And I thought I had sent like three similar ones in, which I didn't get paid for. I don't know which one I got paid for, but one is better than none. I have less than a week to come up with the rent for my clinic without any income, except for that um, $100, and I'm concerned, like, I'm so concerned. I'm going to write down these numbers. But you see my brain going all over the place because it's like there's so much to do that I can't even focus, and I feel like God is saying that it's okay, and that, uh, wait. There's a three there. No, I did too many threes. Okay, hold on. I I feel like I have to rush um, because of um, not having a place to sit quietly. So even like if you're at work and you have work, a task to do, and you run around and do this task and you're going to be distracted by customers and phone calls and your boss is calling and you find out there's going to be inspection. Like, there's all these things, you know. And you just want to be like, well, you can get it done. You do the best you can. You get it done. If it has to be done before you leave, then you're not leaving. So that Pizza Hut, you had to stay late and finish it, which is like a nightmare. There's like so many numbers here that I'm confused. What is this number? Oh, that was. Oh, that's, I don't know what that is. Sick code. Wait, Don's number. I think this. I think I did the wrong. I don't know what that number is. I'm just gonna push. I'm gonna push that into another line because I'm. I got arrows and stuff. But I don't know what's going on here. I sit out here, I cannot focus, oh my gosh, have a headache in bad, in bad, M-A-R-S-H, Marsh, what? It probably says bad mood, because that's what it should say if I was under those conditions. Let's just put this number here. I always have an excuse. I was playing volleyball at church, and I'm a pretty good volleyball player, I hardly ever played outside, and the team was run by a, a racist woman and um <clears throat> in high school 
the 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 seniors are the varsity team. The junior varsity was okay. The uh, eighth grade was okay. They played four years. I would have played five if I did senior year, which I should have done. But who wants to play with a racist coach? Like literally, blatantly discriminatory. Um. Anyways, I was at the church thing, and I was like couldn't get the ball and I was like oh sorry I missed it or I did it I was like oh my gosh I don't even know if I missed anything but I go oh the sun is in my eyes and they're like no excuses this lady Libby no excuses you you can't be making excuses about anything in your life and I'm like always the church people would be like you're either making excuses or you're complaining or you're, I'm like it's a fact the sun is in my freaking eye and to this day, every time I say something that I feel like is a is a non biased truth, it'd be like the trash cans are outside. Like no excuses, no no complaining. Like, are you trying to get someone to do put them inside? Like, no, it's just a statement. I can keep this stuff to myself now. But I have a hard time focusing. I have a hard time getting stuff done. I have a hard time with sleep than I have my whole life. My home room was really cold when I was a kid. The heater was broken in my room. The radiator um, pipes were blocked. My parents didn't believe me. All growing up, as I lived that house over 15 years, they didn't believe me until I was in my late 20s. When well, my dad said, oh, I went and finally had someone check that out. You said it wasn't heat in your room so this is Michigan up north the water is right kitty quarter from my window the the lake <laughs> like see how that lake wind cold north weather the corner of the house so it wasn't that part of the house literally me and my brother's room stuck out so it wasn't like you had a bedroom it's, how, I don't even remember how it looks it sticks out somehow or at least part of it it's a, it doesn't have a lot, like, this wind will go through there. I think we had storm windows, but the, how, how cold are you going to be if you're in a house when it's zero degrees and you have no heat? You have your door shut. And the rest of the house is that warm and cozy. It's still cold enough for you to want to put a blanket around you. And you can't sleep when it's cold. My mom had got a job, all these jobs, and the roller rink job where she was out at night. I feel like Monday through Friday, most of Monday through Friday, she'd get us some pizza or some takeout food to our McDonald's, Arby's pizza, and she would have, or we'd eat out of the freezer, the little frozen pizzas. That sounds so good right now. I want a food relapse. I'm so stressed and tired and angry and lonely. Hungry, angry, lonely, tired. And I had been with her late at night like two three in the morning and I, I had a little old she bought a tv and an old couch like old like it's not a couch like a military it's like metal and olive drab or gray or whatever cushions that are like leather or fake leather or whatever they are so it could lay down there and watch this black and white little plug-in antenna tv if I wanted um eat some candy and try to sleep and she had some of the time her old Mercedes the old old one that she got used not the one she got when I was born <clears throat> that she got new it didn't have a heater so imagine driving around in winter in Michigan during snowstorms where there's no heater and you get sick you're at school with a bunch of kids you go to daycare with a bunch of kids you go to the youth center roller rink you're helping people clean and wash stuff you're touching door handles you're a kid and you're all of a sudden told by your mom that you're sick all the time because you don't wear your hat and your earmuffs and your gloves and wash your hands like I do wash my hands wear my hat my I, I have a hat earmuffs a scarf a big winter coat snow pants two pairs of socks and or winter like wool socks long underwear long sleeve shirts when I got older I found out about flannels turtlenecks long sleeve shirts and sweaters under a big snowsuit with winter boots on you know that have whatever moon boots or whatever I had that had some kind of insulation and it sucks to be yelled at when you're when you're sick and someone's telling you oh it's your fault you're sick or it's your fault that you can't sleep 
And so I'm tired of this behavior from other people. When I was a kid, I had to come home when she had a regular Mercedes. She used to drive. I used to get in the back seat and fall asleep on the way home. I can't find that password for Square. It might be in here. It should be in here, actually. But, oh, here it is. I found it. Okay, let's type it up. So, what happened there was that I would wake up in the garage, which was heated, I guess, as much as a garage, depending how well the garage door seals. I'd wake up in the garage and either put myself to bed or maybe just it's time to go to school because these are school nights. And then on Friday, on I think, I don't know about Thursday, but Friday and Saturday were the big roller rink nights. And so she was a manager. And so the other employees would clean up and finish everything, shut the place down. And her and Karen, the cashier, would have to do the money. And then when they did the money, who knows what time that would be. 1 a.m., 2 a.m., I don't even know. That kept that actually saved me, though, because uh, I feel something here, like, like acne. And drive to the bank together, way at the end of town. So you had to go from the Air Force Base to the bank together, deposit the night deposit cash. I don't think, I don't know if they took checks. That was the olden days, they might have took checks. And then had to drive all the way clear back to, we lived right across from the base, so all the way clear through town, back out. And those were the days, I, I, I believe, I um, I don't remember really if, when I fell asleep in the car. I feel like those days were late, because it's like managing the restaurant. You leave, when, you're scheduled to leave at 12, 12 30, 12 30, but you, you might not leave till four. <laughs> like when stuff gets done, when a place gets mopped, when the dishes get done, when the inventory that no one else, it's like, that's what happens. The people that open don't do their work. And so even if you did your own work, it's rare you get out on time. Like you, you get out within an hour, just your own work. But if the people before you didn't do their work, you're doing two or three shifts worth of work. And if you're busy at night, like at Pizza Hut deliveries until midnight, and there's only, the thing in the daytime, there'll be the six people standing around, standing at each other. Dishes stacked all up, you know, craziness. When I first started, I was like trying to use the pan that came out of the oven, and you're supposed to go get a clean one. I mean, it was sterile, but it was, it's going to have burnt on it, you know. Sometimes you put down parchment paper for stuff, but I was like, I didn't know what to do. And then you have all those people standing around, and as soon as it's like eight, they got, they leave you with two, two people, the manager and the driver, that like literally have to do. All those people stand around to work, put all the food away from the truck delivery and all the sodas and do the cash register and still answer the phones, run everything. I don't know, it's stupid. So I know it's like you get done when you get done. But I feel like if my mom had that lady there, she probably got down earlier than during the week because she could do, she's probably sitting in there doing paperwork and stuff, management stuff, being there till 2, 3 in the morning. Um, I don't remember really. I had to have had a blanket in that Mercedes, the old one. It was literally too cold to be messing around, you know. Um, <sighs> I have not gone into Square in so long. I think I can do um, transactions straight from here. Um, so I ended up okay so jump ahead I end up being like a partier so I'd sleep I'd go to school early the heck in the morning I didn't know how to study in advance so I'd study after um hours like n all night long cram the test is at eight nine in the morning I'd stay up all night and cram I remember having a couple of friends or one or two friends or we'd stay up all night and you get so tired you're like we need to take turns sleeping in the, in the student lounge like you sleep 10 minutes, wake me up, and I'll sleep 10 minutes. Like, if we would have both fell asleep, we would have slept through that dang test, you know. It was horrible. I didn't know that you're supposed to study a little bit each day, which is probably why I'm so overwhelmed with, with this stuff, too. I need to go back to what I learned from my mistakes, not cramming to the last minute. Even if you don't, even if you're like, oh, my God, it's the, the morning of the last day. Like, the test is tomorrow morning, 24 hours. Like, still don't wait till 9 p.m. Like, start at 9 a.m. Start at 7. Like, I am tired. Right now, I have a deadline, more than one deadline. I just do it. Um, 
the other thing there is thinking about um, thinking about um, what is it going on partying and after I moved out of the dorms being up late usually it was Friday Saturday then it probably turned to Thursday Friday Saturday I'm gonna spill a sleep in on Saturday we wake up because the cafeteria was it Sunday they only served like breakfast and lunch on Saturday and then or two meals on Saturday I think you picked and then one meal on Sunday breakfast or lunch or brunch or something like that so it's like you had to get up if you went to eat because there was like no there was a little bit of snacks ah oh, those snacks those crackers those snack cracker packs with the flat cut thin bread that sounds so good right now I'm so hungry right now I'm not even gonna lie I got the worst stomach ache I feel like I'm about to die here and then you're like up but you could sleep and take naps before you got to party and then study me and my roommate would study for the one class by watching the video we'd film the videos it was an online class or a distance class so we'd we'd watch it during the class and then I would watch it the replay on Saturday so if I didn't record I usually would record it the regular time my VCR and then I would record it on Saturday they like say there was three hours of class a week maybe two two days I don't know th they'd replay them on Saturday let's just say it like that on the cable access I think I'd, I feel like I'd replay <laughs> retape it and then I felt like when we had a test we'd watch that whole tape I only got like a C or B or D she got like a I was like how'd you get such a good grade like, man, I suck. I don't even know how we took tests. We must have had to go in person to take this. I don't, I literally don't remember taking the test. We, we must have. We had to do something for our grade, but I know she got a nice grade. I was really bad at studying. I'm, I'm still really bad at focusing. I'm, I get so overwhelmed every day, but when I get something done, it's like a miracle. Like, I'm not gonna, like, it's, it's not like a miracle. It's like, extreme like nobody knows what I'm talking about it's like people who go to school and get certificates to do stuff and I just like figure it out on my own but the way that I do it the reason I'm overwhelmed and frustrated is because it's not socially acceptable and it's beneficial it's the it's beneficial in a way that's like um it causes me to be more independent and self-sufficient in my education is like just medical school like if I can do billing that's like boom you like like I feel like it's easier to do billing as a doctor than it would be to just start off as a billing person like I don't know why I feel like I feel like as a billing like I feel like literally for me it started as a patient but anyways I, I used to be able to take naps when I was younger or stay up all night and sleep in on Sundays when I got out of the dorms and go to school early and then I shortly after end up in the living in the tent and shortly after my ex-husband would stay up all night watch TV the sick like situation now except for we had a house with different rooms but it's like what are guys doing are they like looking at porn like I mean it's like probably and I just like I'm going to leave like I need to have attention and love and then I don't want to do fun stuff or smile or be chipper about intimacy because it's like why should I be when you're going somewhere else for your chipper but it's fake it's not fake but it's like I'm not a man so there's different hormones and stuff that were going to be like a hunger you know for it and as a woman I have a different hunger which I feel I personally feel I don't know if it's just me I know it's not just me but I think it got intensified because of raw food and spirituality and it's a slam in the door it's like knock knock we had a flash flood and a, my baby was in the back seat and our car wouldn't start and we went door to door in a neighborhood for about an hour at least and nobody answered the door and you know they were at home you saw lights on you'd hear people moving around probably looking through the window or the people they said, don't answer, don't answer, don't answer. And we were desperate. We were stranded. We had nothing in a small town in West Virginia. Or it was, actually, it was probably in Huntington. But we had a baby, and we were, like, freaking out. And someone finally let us in and gave us some water. Let us call a tow truck. All we needed was a phone and a tow truck. They could have called it for us. We could have stood outside their window and said, this, this car is on the street. Please call. 
this number is triple A or whoever we had to call. It's stupid, but I mean, it's a black woman with a baby, a mixed baby and a white, tall white man. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> the baby was real. Um, wasn't any kind of. We're stranded. I mean, I hate when you ask for help and it's a knock on the door. So that's like you do something for yourself and you feel criticized or condemned and you have people that you know that are like professionals making over $50 an hour, 70 to something a year, 70 to 200,000 a year. And they're, they're not going to be generous. They're not going to give your kids a phone call on their birthday. They're not like stuff that's free and it's really sad. And so it's like, Oh, I made a hundred dollars in the past two months at my job. Like a, like a hundred dollars. What? You should be making a hundred dollars every 15 minutes, literally as a doctor, like really, especially when you're working complicated stuff, this isn't just like, I'm going to take, like, even if you take height and weight, like that goes in a different category. Cause you're calculating BMI and you have preventive medicine and you can help prevent diabetes and obesity. Like that's a kind of a big deal. It should be paid as a big deal because you're doing monitoring, um, which the government likes to see that for, for billing and stuff. Um, and then I was awake because I think men, what are they doing when I was living in the tent? The same thing. You're up to no good. Um, and then I had kids. So then my ex, of course, is not going to feed him. I never heard of a bottle pump, breast pump. My ex was like, not, not ever changing my kid's diaper in the middle of the night, not ever doing, um, food prep. I think after I had a baby, I didn't get food prep. I had to do everything. And again, trying to be a career woman, a professional. And what men don't understand when they go to work and they work, I know they come home tired and hungry. The house is a mess. The baby's crying and filthy. So it's like as a woman, it's like you spent all day running around. You didn't sleep. You barely, if you even got in the shower and got dressed, try to feel like a freaking human and not some kind of like zombie that just crawled up out of the ground, you know, filthy. It's like, <laughs> it's like you're, doing take especially you take care of the baby or two babies that are very close in age and you got diapers and you got freudian stuff going on with poo poo and you got baths that you have to give them and you have kids you know breaking up stuff and getting into sugar and dumping it all over so you're like if the bare minimum is the house looked the same as when the husband went to work and came back i guarantee unless you are the absolute that clean freak that keeps your kid in the playpen and you're not allowed to put fingerprints on the windows and laugh at the cat you know I guarantee your house probably got way messier before you got home from work and then she like got rid of that. It's it's not like you try to hide anything, it's just it makes you got you and your baby look like a tornado went up. You're like, I mean maybe that's just my kids but I, I would clean up so much and I turn around and the place over there that corner would be trashed. And you spend two hours s scrubbing and mopping and sweeping and organizing and I you know, the kids, you know, they're quiet and you're like, Oh, that's fine think you're in, into it you know and you're like your husband comes home and you're like I just did four hours on my hands and he's scrubbing this thing and the kids somehow got into the paint and the eggs and mixed them together and got handprints on the wall like what are you doing all day are you cheating on me what are you doing are you on drugs spending out my money watching tv while the kids go unattended I was like they were like you know you get into something and it's like guys guys would get into video games you're not gonna notice like I feel like some guys, some man could come into your house and you could be intimate with him. And the, some, the guys, sometimes they don't pay attention to you so much that you could do something right in the same room or in the next room and they wouldn't even notice. Like, it's rude. Like, you feel, that's what that whole, like, desire to be hugged and loved. And it, it's not, like, I'm not trying to promote that. But it's like, what if a rabid bear breaks into your house and the guy, you're screaming and the guy's like, I'm playing the video game, not right now, like, if you even heard you at all, and you're just like, I don't know, there's something about thinking about men hunting and fishing and gathering and going out to war, and it's like socially acceptable, it's like, oh, he's out there, you know, and it's like, you're hunting, you're waiting in a tree six hours to, to shoot a deer, and you're chilling, and people are drinking beer, and you nod off and all this stuff and then yeah the woman's not only cooking and cleaning and if you have a business where you make jewelry and sell it at the market so you've got a garden you make your own food you are 
like me, you are ba making a baby in your your womb, and you're nursing at the same time from your breasts, and you're malnourished. Because the guy who said that they're going to split up the duties of the household is taking your freaking money and going to buy drugs or going to buy porn with it, you know? And you're malnourished, and your teeth are breaking out. Literally, like mine, I'm missing teeth because they just broke apart. My teeth used to be absolutely wonderful. Like, one of the best, because I had natural fluoride in my water, so I had calcified. I had, like, some of the best teeth in the world, and they have, lucky that I even have only two missing right now. But that, like, and then it's like your body, like, men get tired and they're, sperm needs to be regenerated and but could you imagine like a little like a tablespoon of of sperm of semen coming out and could you imagine how much how many ounces of fluid comes out of a breast every few couple hours like you ever think about the fact that that's freaking tiring your body needs energy your body needs rest people get um, mastitis and infections and they get other diseases, especially like if you're pregnant and nursing at the same time, your immune system's down and it's ridiculous. Like, seriously, seriously, think you know, p people are pregnant and they get in nesting and they clean and they want to buy stuff and they're sexy and it's like their boobs got big and people are like, oh, we're gonna give you gifts and money and gift cards and all this nice stuff. You know, I, I didn't get that, but I see other people do that and you're like, think that the woman needs to stay like your hair gets thick and where's my boyfriend speaking of but anyways rest babies I haven't been able to rest working all night and now I'm here and I'm like god help me maybe I'm learning something maybe my mind needs to hear what's on the tv while I'm sleeping to help me heal bye